Alright, this is going to be a video on the Seraphim, Fast Attack for Sisters of Battle. They're a, they're a pretty solid Fast Attack option. Uh, in previous, you know, 5th edition, you didn't see many people take Fast Attack because they were often just not, not worth their points and really not worth it for a lot of armies. But that's changed. They're scoring in 1-6 of the games now. A third of your games aren't for kill points, so Fast Attack really makes up their points now and uh, you know they're probably going to get line breaker there's a lot of reasons to take fast attack squads so uh seraphim were good for that and then they're actually a solid fast attack unit uh just running through their stats they're uh, above average for sisters in terms of weapon and ballistic skill they're both four so they're better weapon skill than most sisters their strength three and toughness three just like all the rest wounds one initiative three that initiative three is important. We'll talk about it in a second with one of their special rules. Um, and then you know one attack, leadership eight or nine if the superior is present, and then their three up armor save. So what do they come with? Just for eighty points, you get four um, seraphim and one sister superior with a jump pack. They're jump infantry, which means they uh, they can deep strike. They move twelve inches. They can move twelve. Well, they can re-roll their charge, so get up to 12 on their uh, on their charge if they're assaulting, and get would, would get Hammer of Wrath. They can Deep Strike, um, but they don't have to uh, use their Jump Pack, so you know, if they're in terrain, they, uh, they wouldn't have to use it. They can ride in transports now, but they're considered bulky, so uh, 5 girls would be the same as 10. So you could put them into a Rhino, but you could never put a full squad into an Emulator. I'm not sure why you would, anyways. Uh, they come with power armor, three up save. They they come with two bolt pistols. And when the uh, when the codex was written for White Dwarf, there wasn't a rule for this, but now there is. They essentially have the Gunslinger uh, Universal Special Rule. It doesn't call it that, but that's what they have. They have uh, frag and crack grenades, and they have jump packs. And then their special rules, they have acts of faith which is an interesting one. It's an act of faith that lets them, uh, it's called the Emperor's Deliverance. It, it makes things like the Strength 3 Hand Flamers really useful. We'll talk about that in a second. But their act of faith lets them reroll wounds uh, in the shooting phase. Then they have Angelic Visage. This is not an act of faith. It always works, or always is in existence. It lets them reroll failed invulnerable saves. Which actually means this squad is pretty uh, likely to stand up against some of the instant death, you know, ignores armor hits that other things get hit by because they're gonna basically make it on a five up. It's a six up, and then if they fail the second six up, so five up. Um, they have hit and run, and this is where their initiative comes into play. So hit and run means uh, at the end of an assault, you can opt to. Uh, make an initiative check and then break off 3d6 inches in a straight line. With initiative 3, um, this is the only squad that has it for the sisters, but with initiative 3, you're, you're only going to make it about 50% of the time. Well, not bad, but uh, but not great. I guess it doesn't always seem to work for me. It's not the most reliable ability. Um, but it is useful, particularly if they're landing downrange. They have seraphim pistols, which are bolt pistols. They have Shield of Faith, so that's that 6-up and Vulnerable save that all sisters get, and that's the one they get to reroll. Okay. What can they take in addition? You can take up to 5 more, so a total of 10 models at 15 points a model. You can take 2 with special weapons. Doesn't matter if you have all 10, you can only take 2 with special weapons. Um, and you would give them 2 Hand Flamers, which are Strength 3, or 2 Inferno Pistols, uh, which are melt guns that have a 6-inch range. Um, you know, talking about tactics here, the hand flamers, and um, it's a girl with hand flamers. The hand flamers, they're, weapon, they're, they're weapons that have a strength three, but they're flamers. Um, so are they that useful? And, you know, if, if they didn't get to reroll wounds, the answer would be no. But the uh, ability to reroll wounds means. With these hand flamers, if they get their active faith off, you know, a girl gets to drop two templates per girl with hand flamers, so you could take four templates um, in a squad since they're going to have two each. And you're actually likely to put down a lot of wounds as you're re-rolling those wounds. So it's not a bad option, um, particularly for a unit that can deep strike. 
And then the Inferno Pistols, it's actually my, my preference is to take the Inferno Pistols. Unfortunately, there are none modeled. You'd have to make it yourself or declare, you know, the girls with their guns aiming up or whatever are the Inferno Pistols. Um, you get two of them, which means you get two uh, melt the shots around from each girl, and you can re-roll wounds in case you rolled ones for most, most models. Um, so... I, I like these, and one of my favorite tactics is to drop a Seraphim Squad down, you know, and put the Infernal Pistols closest to a vehicle or a Bastion so that you can you can blow up something way downrange um, on a deep strike, uh, because those Infernal Pistols, if they're within three inches, are going to uh, are gonna get the double six D sixes for Melta. And I realized that doing that involves either deep striking very close to an opponent or flying over to them, but. Uh, you know, you don't expect all your squads to live. Okay, the superior, she can take a chainsword. Uh, don't do it for free. She could take a power weapon for 10 points. Mm, that's not a bad option. Um, but, <clears throat> I think I think if, if you're worried you're gonna be assaulted, you know, she could replace her bolt pistol for that, but I'm, I'm not really sure it's, it's worth it. Um, she can take an eviscerator for 25 points. I, I can't think of a single reason why you'd want to do that when you can take a melt -a bomb for 5 points. Um, you know, the, the eviscerator gives you a strength 6 AP2 against, uh, against infantry, but against monstrous creatures, just take the melt -a bomb um, Same thing against vehicles. Uh, and then she can replace um, her other bolt pistol, so only one, with a, a plasma pistol. And, uh, you know, just like the Dominion Squad, I think a lot of times Seraphim are somewhat suicide units. They're not necessarily going to live to the end of the game. So having a girl that might die when she shoots her plasma pistol is probably not a bad thing. Um, she rerolls wounds with it, so it's AP2, Spring 7. You know, you're, you're likely to kill a lot of things, or at least put wounds on them. And you got a 3-up save yourself. So, uh, I would say take the plasma pistol. It's probably worth it. So, talking about what's worth it, what to do with them, you know, um, this as a squad is a great deep striking suicide squad, or at least deep striking line breaking scoring squad, um, in terms of points in the game, and in Scourging they of course are worth a point but can take, uh, can take objectives. So, um, my usual preference with them is to, uh, to deep strike them. They, uh, they, they land somewhere way down range, and I, I try to position it so, you know, my, say my uh, girl with bolters lands, and if I count these as the melta guns, put the melta guns up front, and the plasma pistol behind them, it's got better range, and then the other bolter there, something like that, and try to take out, if the camera's a, uh, a monstrous creature or something, or a, a walker, you know, I might try to take it out with the meltas. Uh, in terms of re-rolling wounds, you know, this unit gets multiple shots. Uh, every girl's going to shoot once with each pistol, so two shots per girl. Um, they can throw one of those crack grenades, and if their active faith work, they're going to re-roll the wound on it. So that's pretty good, strength 6. Same thing with the plasma, strength 7, AP2, and uh, the meltas or the flamers. And when you put them down, you want to put the flamers at the front um, if you're deep striking. Um, same thing when you actually get into shooting range for a... Uh, you know, a shooting attack if they didn't deep strike, you, you don't want to flame through your own unit. But if you can, if you're, if you're not deep striking, or even if you are, if you can, you might want to put a girl with the bolts up, up, up front if there's ways to put the flamer templates down on your targets, or even the meltas down on your targets. That way, the girl with the bolts takes any initial shooting wounds. Okay. So... Uh, other strategies. These girls are not bad back on your deployment zone if you are uh, using uh, emplaced weapons like the quad cannon or the Icarus Laz cannon, or if they can land on your opponent's side and steal one from your opponent, um, because all you have to do is have a model and base contact and you can shoot that thing with their active faith. They get to reroll wounds, so uh, in one of those unfortunate situations where you hit with the Icarus Laz cannon and then roll a one, uh, these girls can actually uh, effectively you know, re-roll that. Um, do they benefit from the independent characters? They do. Uh, Saint Celestine is the classic independent character to connect to them. She can deep strike with them, so uh, you know she's also jump infantry. And her weapon, you know, with uh, uh, re-rolling wounds on her flamer or crack grenade, she's going against one individual, is uh, is pretty good. 
and she boosts their likelihood of an act of faith. Uriah Jacobus, he can't deep strike, neither can the arch confessor or an ecclesiastical uh, confessor, but they boost the acts of faith for these girls, and if you're starting the game in a position where you want to, uh, you know, shoot a quad cannon, for example, these girls attached to one of those guys um, gives them, the, the independent character, the, uh, the act of faith benefit, so that's pretty good. On the Imperial Guard side, uh, you know, some of the other units get some benefit from the Imperial Guard independent characters. Uh, I, I can't, I can't really recommend that for the for the Seraphim. You know, a Primaris Psyker, he can't deep strike, um, so I would say no for him. A Lord Commissaire, even even uh, you know, Yarrick, Yarrick, however you pronounce his name, with his Power Claw, Lightning Eye, and everything, he's just not going to be downrange up front fast with these girls. He couldn't get in the transport with them. So, I don't think they really benefit from the from the Imperial Guard independent characters. Uh, and they, they don't really benefit from the close combat attack boosts from the uh, um, from the two priest type, you know, Righteous Rage uh, independent characters or, or the basic one from the Sisters list. So I would say St. Celestine is the obvious choice with them. Uh, they don't need her though. You know, the, 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 the main strategies I think for these girls is they're, uh, they're, they're likely to survive longer than Dominions. Um, they often don't draw as much attention because you're probably not bringing them in in a vehicle. They, uh, they have the ability to put down a, a significant amount of damage, uh, even a 5-girl squad, but a 10-girl squad for sure. The 10-girl squad's a little risky to deep strike because it starts getting kind of big. Um, but, uh, you know, somewhere between there, when you land them down range and uh, they're re-rolling wounds and they could have meltas or, or re-rolling flamers and, and a plasma gun, they can they can do a lot of damage because remember if if you're going up against even terminators the front three girls here if these two have meltas and this girl has plasma that's five shots um, that are gonna completely ignore the armor on the terminators so you know my uh, my preference for strategy for these girls is almost always to uh, hold them in deep strike reserve and then bring them in on my uh, opponent's deployment zone I, they also have a 12-inch move, so if I can bring them in, you know, a little bit away from it if I have to, um, and, and I'm bringing them in later in the game, there's a good chance that they're going to get Line Breaker. They're, they're an awesome unit for Line Breaker uh, because, you know, they uh, they can land very close and they can move 12 inches and then run, so they're, they can even get a good distance on the board uh, just to get downrange for that last point late in the game. <laughs> Other things to think about, I'm not sure I would use them for an assault. Unless they had a big squad. Uh, they do get Hammer of Wrath if they use their jump packs, but it's at strength 3, so it's, it's really not that that cool. And, you know, they, they do have an armor 3, but they, they, uh, they aren't a great assault unit. Um, for many, for many uh, opponents, because they, they tend to just die. Most most sisters of battles are not great at close combat assault. Now, and if you have hand flamers, like this girl, uh, if you had two girls with hand flamers, you, you're probably even better forcing your opponent to assault you because you're going to get the wall of death hits, and uh, you know that's probably better than you're going to get in terms of wounds uh, with your with your Hammer of Wrath, because you're, you're hitting at Strength 3, and true, you, you hit once for each girl, but the, the Flamers are more likely to do uh, injury at their Strength 3 Flame Wall of Death than uh, girls with their Hammer of Wraths. Um, so, anyways, that's the, uh, that's the, the Tactica there. I, uh, I, I would say this is, once again, uh, a definite take unit if you've got the points and you, you know, you're looking for a mobile army unit that can get Line Breaker that, if it's armed with Meltas and Plasma and uh, Melt Bombs, can take out vehicles, bastions, you know, things downrange. Um, and uh, and that, that's the review for them.